Is that Zelda? Because we, yeah, because we got to switch the characters. We got, we got tricked, guys. Yeah, uh, we got straight up bamboozled. The, the match cue is off for me. <laughs> that's what happened. Chris bamboozled us. We got tricked. We have All guys. Right. <laughs> Damn, I Air, Air swimmer. swimmer. Okay. Well. We hyped, we hyped up Epic We hyped up a match that y'all are never going to see. Instead, what you get here is one of the finest Ikes to do it. And one of the most notorious Wi-Fi characters behind an equally infamous player. I'm expecting a good amount of that as well. Aether to use as a combo breaker, I think, is going to be vital to you guys staving off a lot of potential damage that Air Swimmer can provide for us, especially given the starting stage being Smashville. Small stage, a lot of room to box, and decent amount of mobility options for Zelda. Yeah, but Zelda also would want a bit more say, so I'm surprised by the Smashville pick. Probably believe they can control the space with the Phantom. I do know Phantom is able to hit that top platform in the center. But I... Oh, oh nice counter. But I can definitely present a hard time for Zelda if he's just get, able to get a few hits like that. Yep. That ought to be how this match is going to go. Yes, is going to be taking a beating, but once he's able to intercept the Phantom Knight, that's a wrap. It's just going to take a few hits for uh, the racket the damage necessary to really be dangerous to Zelda. Although, I do like the way that Air Swimmer is approaching this match. Of trying to play at Phantom's distance without committing to too hard of moves and relying on those out of shield burst options, I think, is a very strong balance of play to exhibit against a player like Yes. Yeah. Okay. Try to catch scroll. I find it interesting though that Air Swimmer isn't really committing too hard to reversals in the air. A couple of times now, Fair or Bear would have presented very dangerous situations for Yez where Air Swimmer's managed to nick away the jump from Nike. And when he's resorting to Quick Draw as a recovery option, it's a bit dangerous. But. I guess the more reserved play is something to be respected here. Yeah, it definitely feels like something we respect. Oh, I, I thought we were going to see something more, a bit cooler. There's a lot of opportunity for Zelda to do some cool things here on Smashville. I know the, uh, the wind cancels off the lip of the lone platform do allow for a lot more awesome offensive application. Yeah, you, you were right when you said awesome. <laughs> yeah, caught him coming past ledge. Yeah, you can't get too fast lot, on these. Yeah, a lot of Zelda's like to use it as a hitbox. Also, when they're with their teleport, I do know is is able to kill at fairly good percent. But if you, if you take note of it, then it should not be a problem. Oh, first time we see Din's fire, and it's not really going to be doing too much. I think there's a reason why that move is sitting on the uh, the back line. And I'm not quite sure what Air Swimmer was trying to read, but... Probably yeah. misinput. Probably would have been cool if they got it. Yeah. Uh, I'm going with a misinput right there. Air Swimmer, you can correct me. <laughs> it's not. You, you were just trying to go for the dankest. So that uh, puppy can't... Yo, listen, it would have been the read of the gods if they got it. <laughs> I, I'm just saying... If you quick, if you manage to catch a quick draw that's charged that much, with a move that has that laggy of startup, like you got it. Regardless, though, Air Swimmer kind of struggling to take off the stock from Yez, and Yez not even going to give Air Swimmer the opportunity. Dash attack almost killing, but solid DI keeps Air Swimmer in it. Yeah, the regrab. Yep, and that's what you get for getting greedy. You can't be doing up air from the lip just like that. He has not committing too hard to the ledge play. It's actually going to be working out really well for him. CS takes game one. Let's look at this again. This catching the teleports. The one off stage. Like these tell Twice Air Swimmer has died to these teleports. So. Just needs to get a better handle on just not re. Get going past ledge or re-grabbing ledge with these teleports. 
I kind of want to see a stage with more space, and you alluded to this towards the beginning of game one, where Zelda would work out nicely having a bit more space to run away. I think a more laterally oriented stage like PS2 or maybe even Town could give a little bit more opportunity for Airstormer to continue that defensive play that we saw the first half of game one really pay dividends for. But I don't know. Maybe if they just go harder on the, the punish game or try to commit a bit more to the offstage play. This pick into Smash Bowl will work out, because that's what we're going back for game two. Yeah. So, maybe I do know you all just do like Smash Bowl. So, this is probably a comfort pick, if anything. Comfortable for who? God damn, he has taken a very quick first stock right off of the counter. Yeah, it's comfortable for someone. It's not me. <laughs> Hard and air swarmer. Yeah, not at all. The Nairs and Fair is looking really difficult for Air Swimmer to uh, fend off right now. Already a stock behind, plenty of damage built up. And he has on the hunt for this next stock. Nair to back here is not going to do it, but going out deep to threaten. Forward tilt going to be able to do it too. And just like that, Air Swimmer down the last stock and. He is just going way hard for no reason? No, there seems to be some sort of miscommunication of sorts. Or no. not? No, homie, oh, yes. Damn, man, you ever get your ass beat so bad in bracket you get a homie stock? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's just unfortunate. <laughs> but we take those when we win the game. <laughs> oh, well, let's uh, let's hope for air swimmers' sake that they can see a uh, similar fate because. This has been a very bloody game, too, very quickly. Yeah, this is definitely one's right for the ages. Because, oh my god, this is not looking good. Oh, it's looking good, but it's looking good for only one person on the screen right yeah, now. I, I was talking in terms of air swimming. Because he ain't swimming in no air. No, he, sir. He might be drowning. Pools. Oh wow, no no commitment there from the delayed recovery. Okay, I was expecting another Dins Fire from Air Swimmer, but I don't think Air Swimmer is feeling too comfortable pressing buttons after the ravishing that the opening to Game 2 has provided to us. Okay, grab him out. It definitely feels like Yaz is just toying with food now. Well, it's brought down to last stock, and Air Swimmer at max rage. That's big. That's Eruption's big. gonna do it, yeah, even from cross stage. Like, there's really not much you can do from there. And there was a lot of opportunities that Yez was presenting to get for that, but... It's gonna happen. Alright. Up B out of shield makes it happen. That that game, too, was something else. Yeah, oh my god. 73 after the hit, very dead. Yeah, and that was 15 seconds in. A minute didn't even pass by. Yeah, no, it was... I, I actually really like how Yez was just threatening with empty space and opted for a quick draw. Like, right there in Air Swimmer's face. It's like, yeah, Air Swimmer's couldn't even threaten. It was a point, it felt like. That was some bullying. That was some grade-A bullying. Yeah, Yez might actually be a bully. That's, All stream. That's crazy. Just makes fun of people. 